Welcome to the episode 29 of the Mobile Networks Overview course. After a long time, after a very long time, I thought that uh, the episode 28 was the last episode, but uh, um, some ideas come to my mind, came to my mind, and I decided to uh, continue these uh, uh, materials uh, since it was uh, thankfully it was really uh, popular and uh, I received uh, many good comments from you okay and I will also be happy that I uh, receive more uh, comments and feedback uh, from you to improve my uh, materials okay uh, in as you remember in episode 13 and also 25 uh, we already have uh, covered SIP protocol uh, SDP and also uh, some um, especially in episode uh, 25 uh, some contents about IMS okay uh, but uh, in this episode and the good thing is that we are going to uh, anal analyze this protocol C protocol with uh, popular Wireshark uh, so this is this episode is about C protocol analysis using Wireshark and PCAP files. Okay, and uh, we are using some open uh, PCAP files uh, from GitHub that I will share the link with you. And in this short episode, we wanna uh, go through some of the uh, most interesting ones. Okay. Uh, so as you know you should have the uh, Wireshark also uh, this is the github of uh, GoFinet uh, that was really interesting many good zip follows I will share the link with you and thanks to the and uh, many thanks to the others of this github and share the code also this uh, cloud shark was also nice uh, uh, just as a review cloudshark.org you can see the zip messages here in white for example drawing ringing and the real uh, packets we can see here yeah uh, it was also nice and you have many analysis tools like rtp stream and uh, for example follow a stream you can see yeah here uh, you can have ladder diagram uh, online you can see yeah this is nice ladder diagram you can also save it and uh, you can see in white and trying we have discussed all of this before so I don't go through the details but when you click yeah you can see the pcap uh, IP UDP here UDP because you know most of the time I see uh, SIP is based on UDP, but you have also TCP and SATP. It's based on the network preference. Okay, and here we can see SIP, yeah, from and to, yeah, and also, but here, mm, as you know, there is no STP here, and, uh, and we will cover it uh, today. Okay, also, uh, you will have some other nice tools, uh, for example. In analysis tools, for example, in GeoIP world map, it's nice. Uh, DNS activity and also RTP stream. Uh, you can see the RTP stream here and also play them. It's nice. You can see and also by clicking on this, you can uh, easily play them. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can see many details here. But uh, most of the packets, uh, it was just for. Uh, showing you a website related to this but most of the traces uh, today um, that we are uh, gonna talk are from this okay let's start without any extra work okay the first uh, the first thing we see here is uh, register SIP register request okay you can see yeah we have just register uh, you know uh, IP UDP here session initiation protocol and here 
uh, for example from you know this is the source from this to this zip this may be a zip server okay and uh, we want to register and these uh, methods are allowed okay and uh, you can see that it's very simply accepted okay from the server is you can see it's source and destination and the, here the answer come from the server you can see simply it said okay um, as you can find very uh, very easily it's just uh, for example very simple zip phone and a server because in IMS and other scenarios it would be really uh, more sophisticated and uh, for IMS registration as I showed to you in the previous episode it took uh, 18 steps and it's two uh, one initial and secondary uh, registration okay and you can see uh, in statistics for all of these follow graph flow graph mm? it's very simple okay let's go to another the, the second one is RTP protocol here we can see that uh, the voice uh, the first of all we have we can see invite uh, so you know that each uh, SIP scenario is started with invite uh, for call sorry maybe uh, like the previous example with the register we can see invite and it's also included STP we can see yeah session description protocol we can see also the uh, the codec Mm, the codec, the port, it's audio. The codec is a PCMA or G711. It tells us in each second, 8,000 sample of voice is captured. So, you see, let me uh, let me discuss for you. He say that the, mm, it's PCMA, the codec or g7 g711 okay uh, as you could as you saw it said that 8000 sample per second so each sample if we put it in a byte or 8 bit it means that 8000 sample by 8 bit it would be Six, 64,000 bit per second it's uh, very familiar to us 64 kbps and it's the bandwidth of G711 codec okay so uh, it means that in each uh, yeah in each uh, it in each second it uh, take 8000 sample also there is one more uh, parameter p time it means packetization time in millisecond for example in each 20 millisecond it packetize the uh, voice okay in each 20 milliseconds yeah and let's go through it to yeah and we can see trying trying is uh, came from the peer side as we see it's from peer side to say that i'm working on something to uh, avoid the expiry of timer also here the ringing then it's a provisional act provisional act is related to some uh, some uh, some messages that uh, doesn't need an ac acknowledgement okay and then okay here yeah the call is accepted and you can see yeah after a report the media is started from this rtp the media part and we have also rtcp real-time control protocol for controlling the rtp you can see that all of these are media the media is uh, transferring between the 
sender and receiver and after uh, the, com the dialogue is finished the sender or receiver will send spy you can see the mm -hmm. it was uh, started with 101 by, uh, but the B party 100 is sending by and then is accepted by the other party yeah and it's okay and bye you can see bye and uh, one of the good advantages of uh, art, uh, C protocol you can see it's very um, close to the human language like buy or invite or something like that uh, and uh, there's one uh, there's also one good thing here that I want to let me show you something that uh, we already discussed here for example G711 codec yeah G711 codec we can see yeah uh, here is G711 8000 sample per second yeah is a codec is a narrowband audio codec yes originally uh, designed for use in the telephony uh, it was yeah, yeah pulse code modulation uh, in uh, it was released for use in uh yeah as i told to you 64 kilobit per second uh yeah in 1972 for the first time there are mm, so many codec but in c sample uh we can uh, trace it we can see all of them are g711 or pcma uh, but you know right now widely used codec is amr wideband amr amr wideband okay yeah amr wideband is widely used yeah adaptive multi-rate bandwidth uh, adaptive multi-rate wideband yeah here we can see it's widely used right now uh, and uh, another thing uh, that uh, uh -huh. uh, here you can see both are talking uh, uh, when we talk uh, sometimes uh, one party is just listening and the other party is talking so one uh, nice nice feature is voice activity detection yeah uh, let me show you what is this uh, it means that we can active this feature and when one party is listening for uh, for um, making the bandwidth uh, better utilized we can mute uh, we can send some less packets okay and known as uh, VAD or voice activity detection also known as speech activity detection is the detection of presence or absence of human speech using a speech processing okay uh, it is used for uh, for removing the unnecessary uh, transmission of silence packets okay saving on computation and also network bandwidth it's really nice but sometimes uh, it has also bad point because the one of the parties thinks that the uh, call is disconnected and so he should say hello are you on the line okay and uh, it's like this so uh, let me show you one thing here we can see yeah, uh, also see fellows yeah. uh, before that uh, I want to show you statistics again and fellow yeah, graph flow graph yeah you can see the flow graph it's very simple because it's just two parts you can see from here all the R RTP and then it's uh, at the end it's uh, just buy and also there's one nice uh, thing feature in Wireshark we can see in RTP, RTP stream then yeah the first A party and B party is really nice you can click on analyze and then see many interesting uh, parameters and KPIs here for example here we didn't have lost but in the reverse part we have one packet lost that is uh, yeah one oh yeah but we can focus on here on forward yes 
and also the duration is just four seconds and also the frequency you can see it just like 8000 hertz it means 8000 sample per second that is uh, right and also many other things and uh, it's very nice that we can ah uh, yeah uh, it's also very interesting we have some comfort noise and it, it is detected it's really interesting and uh, one more thing is that we can play this stream and it was really interesting for me you can see it's just four second nothing just a noise okay because it was just for test you can do it by your zip phone and test this and also uh, play by wireshark and just because this is for test we can uh, check and play the stream but when in all uh, in uh, almost all the cases real cases are the encrypted so we cannot play easily okay or never possible <laughs> and uh, yeah here also another uh, capture yeah these are just uh, another examples that I already uh, put for you no new uh, thing and uh -huh, this uh, trace the reason that I put for you is that this is uh, in this time the SIP is on TCP you can see the SIP is on TCP not UDP and in some uh, some uh, scenarios it sh it may be on SCTP a stream control transmission protocol which is very reliable reliable and this is another example we can see that uh, we see on uh, forbidden when you know that in SIP like HTTP when we see four it means uh, something is wrong and for example 401 means out unauthorized but as you saw in the IMS uh, when for the first time we see unauthorized it doesn't mean that it's not allowed or f we should wait but when we see forbidden um, we should find out that this uh, user for example the user name or password was wrong and something is wrong with this user the authentication okay so here was also another example and yeah this is another example for sdp uh, we can see that uh, uh, we all, i also showed you the sdp but let me show you again uh, yeah in sdp the information of the session is uh, negotiated here for example the port the audio the, the codec packetization time and so on okay this is just because we have discussed already okay uh, I hope that uh, this short episode was useful and informative for you if I found something new like this and interesting I will also uh, definitely share with you and uh, I hope it was useful and helpful for you if it uh, was interesting please don't forget to introduce this channel to your friends and colleagues who are interested and uh, kindly uh, give me my feed uh, your feedbacks and comments uh, your value these are very valuable for me to make my channel more improved improved and better and better okay thank you for your time and hope see you in the next videos bye